What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamstang and today we are going to do a speed RAM temperature Geekbench and a 3D mark test here between two very powerful phones. In the first corner, we have the Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's up against the Poco F4 GT. Both of these two phones do have the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor inside of them, 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. So what we like to do is of course to check out the temperatures over here. It is at about... 25.5 in the room right now and temperature wise 32.1 and 33.4 so let's boot these two phones up and see which one would come out on top both of these two phones have been charged up to 100 percent for this test and we're going to see as well with the battery whether it manages to hold up 5000 over here up against the 4600 or is it the 4700 on the f4 gt Okay, looks like the Poco F4 is already done. Let's give some time for the Samsung Galaxy device. Okay. Now let's check out the calendar, all ready to go. Whereas on the S22 Ultra, it does take some time. One more thing to show you guys is that on both of these two phones, the maximum brightness would be put on on both of these two phones. Both of them are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as well. In terms of the display settings, like I mentioned, brightness maximum and also refresh rate maximum on both of these two phones. And every other form of connection is disabled. So as we can see there, 100% on both of these two phones. These are the apps that we are going to test out. Let me just lower down the volume. All right, so now let's check out the temperatures. 33.3 and over on the S22 Ultra, 34.4. So a little bit warmer on the S22 Ultra. Okay, so these are the apps that we are going to test out. And before we go on further, I just want to show you that all apps have been closed before we start this test. So one, two, three, let's go. So over here, both of these two phones really, really fast here and almost equal. Let's go on to the next app, Pokemon Go. Okay, it looks like the F4 GT does overtake the S22 Ultra just by slightly over here. Now let's go on to YouTube. Okay, about the same. Now let's go on to Instagram. Okay, about the same, I would say. And now let's go on to PUBG Mobile. Okay, so the F4 GT is super blazing fast right here with the S22 Ultra definitely right behind it just a little bit I would say and now let's go on to the temperature 34.8 and now let's check out the S22 Ultra 36 degrees okay so now let's go on to Google Chrome okay I think the F4 GT Facebook okay about the same Shopee about the same as well let's go to youtube music about the same now let's go to settings okay go to manchester united 10 hack in one hack two hack three hack four hack ten hack over here all right let's go to the premier league okay f4 gt let's go to netflix okay f4 gt again let's go to the camera app Let's see which one would switch on faster. Okay, that's my something, some lag right here. Let's go, let's go on. Okay, definitely the F4 GT switches faster. Let's go to TikTok. Okay, I think the one on the F4 GT, Twitter. 
Okay. Now let's go on to the Play Store. Okay, so about the same on both of these two phones. So let's check out the temperatures. 35.6 and over here 36.3 so not that much difference i would say now let's do a ram test so genshin impact okay both of them holding up pretty well let's go to pokemon go both of them doing very well as well let's go to facebook okay no refreshes instagram no refreshes let's go to twitter same as well pubg mobile both doing really awesome when it comes to RAM management on both of these two phones. Okay, so now moving on to a small GPU test over here. Both of these two phones are going to export this into 4K at 30 FPS using InShot. So one, two, three, let's go and see which one would come out on top. Okay, it looks like the S22 Ultra is just blazing ahead, ahead of the F4 GT. And we are going to be done with the S22 Ultra while the f 4 gt is only at about halfway mark which is pretty disappointing but of course we have seen this with the poco f3 last year and also the xiaomi mi 11t pro as well and it's almost done and finally it's done okay so now we're gonna do some benchmark tests over here we gonna start off with geekbench and before we do that let's check out the temperatures 36 degrees and on the s22 ultra 36.4 and we're going to start off with Geekbench. We're going to run this CPU test. One, two, three, let's go. Do keep in mind the battery here has gone down by 96%. Here still at 100%. So I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results. Okay, so we are done with the FOGT Amazing Source here, 1002 in single core and multi core about 3567. So, definitely ahead of the S22 Ultra. Temperature wise, it's going to be quite warm 36.4, which of course is pretty impressive. And finally, we're done with the S22 Ultra. Okay, 951. I think this is the highest score that we've gotten. Temperature wise, 37.2. So what we're going to do right now is go on to the compute test right away. And we're going to run this test. And again, I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results. Okay, so we're done. And in terms of score, very impressive that finally the S22 Ultra does have an edge over the F4 GT and of course amazing score here, almost 6,000 compared to the 5,008 which of course is also a very good score. So temperature wise, let's check it here, 36.6, very very impressive with that liquid cooling technology here, 37.4. So let me just cool these two phones down before we go on to the next test. Okay, so now we're going on to the 3D Mark test and these are the temperatures that we are going to start with. 36.1 and on the S22 Ultra, 36.4. So pretty similar on both of these two phones. So let's run the wildlife test. And again, I will see you guys at the end when we do get the results. Okay, so we are done. And in terms of scores, it is very, very different over here. On both of these two phones, 6,008 against 9,003. Those are the FPS, 41 here compared to 56. So definitely the F4 GT does trump over the S22 Ultra. Temperature wise, 36.5. And on the S22 Ultra, 36.6, which is still pretty impressive if you take things into consideration. And now let's go on to the slingshot test. So one, two, three, let's go. And of course, before we do that, temperature wise, uh, as we've seen, and also battery wise, 92% up against 99%. All right, so let's run this test. And again, I'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results. Okay, so we are done on both of these two phones and in terms of the scores, definitely you can see here maxed out. FPS is about 75, so a slight edge over the F4 GT when it comes to graphic score, but when it comes to physics score, the F4 GT definitely does come back. 
and these are the stuff that you want so you can actually just freeze frame if you want to just screenshot this if you guys want to know how the scores when it comes to both of these two phones so if you guys did find this video helpful and just want to see more of these type of videos do please like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me on my social as well on twitter instagram facebook and also here on youtube at dr hamstack so that is it this is dr hamstack stay safe take care and wash those hands